Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to the Backyard server. I am here running at you at full speed. I've been having way too much fun playing around with soul speed on these, like, soul sand highways underneath the slabs. <laughs> but here I am outside of the piglin bartering farm I made not too long ago. And this has been exceptionally productive. I have been getting a lot of stuff, maybe too much stuff. It's kind of overflowing at points. So I've started bringing in some shulker boxes of items or shulker boxes to help condense the items down a little bit got a bunch over here as well and speaking of shulker boxes uh, there's a few over here just a couple uh, and this is my wall of flesh i have yeah each of these are filled to the brim with heaps and heaps of rotten flesh and today i want to make some use of it because I spent so much time AFKing over at the gold farm up top that, like, I need to do something with the byproduct. And I could just throw it away, but I think there's some better uses for it. But I need to do that back in the overworld. So just over this way, through this little area, we've got a nice little courtyard. And at the end, against this wall, we have a bunch of big walls. And this is leading up to my station area. And on the second floor, this one here... Just inside here, we have this. This is going to be my new storage room. But I'll get into that properly later in a future episode. Because to do that, I need a lot of redstone. And I am basically down to my last supplies. I am running out. I need I need to get redstone. And the, rot oh God. And the rotten flesh is going to be a really good way of doing that, I hope. Because apparently, clerics trade for redstone. So yeah, basically the plan is that... Villagers will trade rotten flesh for emeralds, and they will also trade emeralds for redstone. So I want to see if I can make a redstone farm out of rotten flesh. Uh, it's probably not going to be amazing, but I think it could be a nice way of at least using up some of the excessive supplies I've got going right now of rotten flesh. But I need to figure out somewhere to put it. Somewhere, 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 somewhere to put it. <laughs> I think it would probably make a lot of sense to do it somewhere near the portal, probably, actually. That way, it's a bit easier for me to transport the rotten flesh out and then over to wherever I trade in. I think down here might actually be an ideal spot. This should be probably open. I'm going to have some redstone up above, but I don't think it's going to come down to this area. So I think this might be the perfect spot, actually. So let's quickly clear out an area. Okay, so we've now got a lovely big area to work in. This should be probably a bit of a long way long. Oh, my word. Okay, we've got a lovely big area here to work with. Probably bigger than I need, but it's nice to have options. And uh, uh, don't worry about that, TNT. It's always predictable. Okay, so I, I have not really thought that far ahead when it comes to this project. So I don't really know how I'm going to be setting this up. I don't usually like doing villager trading halls. I find them kind of... I don't know. I, I don't like them. But at the same time, I understand why they're done because it's super annoying not having them. <laughs> it's very easy for villagers to get confused. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so it's sort of thematic. Still, I want it to look nice, make it feel like villagers actually live here, even if they technically are like still trapped and can't actually go anywhere. Okay, so I'm kind of wanting this place to be segmented into lots of smaller rooms, maybe with each of them being like a sort of laboratory. With like mad science and potion making and stuff going on. Okay, I am getting very happy with where this is headed. But I think it's probably going to be best if I get into doing a time lapse. As I want to get the building done before we can start getting any villagers and all the other more nitty gritty stuff. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do that. Do, 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 do. And here we are. Oh, I absolutely love this room already. It is turning out so cool. I still got lots of work to do because I want to make it so the floor is maybe a bit less 
planky and stuff, and this room hasn't been touched at all. But we've got this cool little research area over here with plenty of brewing stands. Also got a uh, golem in a uh, like research tank. This is uh, subject Sarah. And back here, we're going to have a sort of viewing deck into what's going to be sort of a greenhouse, I suppose. I'm kind of thinking about maybe putting uh, some allays and sniffer stuff back there and making like an ancient flower farm. And like the people in here are researching the flowers. But scat around, I've got loads of brewing stands. I don't know how many there are in total, but I want a few more, I think. Just to make sure there's plenty of uh, clerics around. Got a few up here as well. But before I can really get into any more detailing, I feel like I really need to, to bite the bullet and just get working on some villagers. Because uh, that's going to take a while to breed them all up and stuff. And it's probably going to get a idea to have like an actual breeder somewhere. So I guess that is the next step. So let's see if I can hopefully rope in someone uh, to help me. Hi. Oh my word. Where are we putting the villagers? They're kind of so ugly, um, but they just have to be three chunks away. And like, I mean, okay. it's, it's pretty easy. All you need is a whole lot of beds in a room and that counts. Oh, is that to say it? Okay. That's it. And three chunks away from any other bed. So basically what it is, is the villagers, as soon as you place one bed down, Bam. that's claimed as a village. Ooh. The more beds you have, the more villagers will try and like okay. breed to get more villagers to fill out the beds. Um, okay, so need to go three or more chunks over this way. Yeah, up here could work. Anyway, here actually. Oh, it, it went above us. Oh, Do we like have this. an idea of... <laughs> What, like, build yeah, you want to do here? Yeah, just fly into walls, Cece. I just... I'm not good at this. Because I'm also going to need we a way of like... zombifying them. Yeah, we can do that basically anywhere. That's we true. can do it inside, actually, as well. Do we want interior or just, just straight zombie? Oh, no, as long just as there's a way to, like, like, just call a villager easily enough. I'm going to use a Cinnabons pattern. Yo... Because I watched her, buttons. I watched her. How do you make floors? Oh, that's so cute! Video the other day. I like the idea that that oh. was a video where she's like asking, "How do you make floors?" Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> how, how do you, you make, make floors? floors? <laughs> Please help. Um. Okay. So basically, idea. Yeah. Chuck them beds in. Chuck them beds in. Get them in there. If water goes here, ah. Yeah, see so if you're gonna here, it's still gonna uh, flood over the beds. Uh let me quickly just put the walls up a bit. I got you. No, I wanna do it. I wanna ah! do it. I wanna do it. No! I wanna do okay, it. Okay, you're just making a mess now. You're just making a mess. It's my base, right. I can do what I want. Water flows in here. It'll Perfect. push them all into this corner. What happens is villager gets picked up, it comes along here and stop here. Right? Yeah. There'll be a zombie here, uh, which, because of those trap doors, can hit. Brains. <laughs> and then it'll zombify them. Oh. We should probably get, like, a mob head or something to put on the zombie so it doesn't burn. I'm Squig Man. What head did you decide on? Squig. Should we do a frog head? Do we have frogs? I think I've got a frog head. Do you have a frog head? I think so. I know there's a frog head over at my I think egg farm. I saw one before, yeah. I have two cold frog eggs. Wait, what colour is that? Green. We should get the white ones. If you want to go kill some white frogs, <laughs> I don't, I'm not actually, the only ones <laughs> I know Do you remember where the frog farm is? No, we're not killing the frog farm. <laughs> <laughs> where did we get the white frogs from then? Uh, The white frogs were from the uh, Hool's base. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Can you come with me? I've... <laughs> why, why are we getting a frog head? <laughs> so we need it. We need. We need. A, we need him to have a frog head. Why? So needs to be white. Because I said so. Does I she? Does she have spare white this. frogs? Yeah, we I can should... just go fly over. Oh, sweet. Okay, uh, we're back in a bit. Bh. <laughs> okay, no worries. I'll figure this I'm last sorry. bit out. 
it's so easy to get people to do stuff for you in the server. It's great. I know. We're all too nice to each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because like we try and do like storylines where we're like against each other, but like we're, so, <laughs> we're too helpful. We're too actually nice. just way yeah. We're actually just way too nice. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you're fast. Meow. <laughs> Frogs, we should yeah. Probably... Okay. Here's here it is a frog, so we can maybe breed them together and get some babies. Yeah. yeah you ha you already have uh, you already have tadpoles. Just put them in a hole on the ground. There we go. I hate, and, we, I hate... and, and we wait. We wait for conk. How are we gonna get him over there? Oh, we got leaves. We can just take yeah, him to the nether. Take him to the portal. Yeah. But we don't need to take him over there. We we're killing him. Oh oh oh! I forgot. <laughs> Did you forget why we're here? Yeah, I was kind of like, I was just kind of like, oh frog. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You can you can just chill here. I'm gonna go rummage through some people's bases, see if there's, there's a white frog around. <laughs> you never know. Oh, fair enough. Jace, how do you live like this? I'm not even 100% sure that that's a white frog biome anyway. Oh, what is a white frog biome then? Hot. I thought. It was, wait, what? Hot. Yep. Wait, you have the bucket. We should have gone over to the savannah. We're not in the savannah right now. Oh yeah, well, let's just grab it. Grab it. I've got, uh, I'm coming over quickly before we Conk quick, goes quick, up. Quick, 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 quick. Conk, stop growing. Conk, slow down. I would laugh. You have to be quick, CC. <laughs> got him. Oh, that's the first time I've done that. Alright, let's just take him to the little field. Maybe if I sit in the bath with him, he'll grow up faster. Maybe you should take a you should take a screenshot. Oh, what the? <gasps> Where did he, you? <laughs> he fell through the floor. He fell through the floor. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, do you have a looting? Oh, perfect. Mud time. What do you think has more likely chances, the axe or the sword? Well, you got looting, don't you? I don't. Oh, whatever. <laughs> He didn't drop the head. I'm using a squig head. Oh. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> oh, man. Can we not kill Enchilada? We're not killing Enchilada. There is the one inside the barn. We could just reimburse. <laughs> Let, let's just try it and we'll reimburse oh. her later. I'll, 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 I've still got, like, wonk or something. We'll give, we'll give her, like, a hundred bucks investment. I'll give him, I, I'll give her all my tadpoles. I'm sure she'll forgive us. Frog, we're coming. <laughs> That's so Hi. grim. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> it had a name. <laughs> Garant the Raisin. Okay, we're calling the zombie that. Okay. Uh, Garant, oh. Garant the Raisin just got absolutely annihilated. <laughs> At least I got oh. the head. Oh, no. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> it's Spinkle's fault. That was so funny. I'm so. I'm actually going to clip that. <laughs> it's Spinkle's it's Spinkle's fault, Will. <laughs> It was so aggressive. <laughs> she made me do it. Oh yeah, see, see, real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm just worried that I can't. I won't catch you another time because I'm getting off after this. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you about the train station that I've made? Okay, oh, uh, I used my bike. last rocket to get over to. Oh, Punk. sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We can we can walk. It's fine. Actually, my I can give you a couple. My mad dash Ow. to conk ran out. <laughs> use my Your life. mad dash to get conk. <laughs> That's what I was wondering with the um, rail, because which way did you want it to go from here? Like, where do we need to get to from here? So, from here is hmm, the issue. I might mm. be able to squeeze in a T-junction here, but it's going to be kind of yeah. hard. Okay, I, I've, I've got some ideas. One of them is if we instead, instead of having a, because right now the ticket over there is the Cherry and Sprinkles ticket. Yeah. I'll take you directly to the station. But what we can do instead is have it so this mm. is a through station. So like the yeah, rail will go straight through the middle. Uh, yeah, and then there'll be like a t st there'll be like a ticket machine here which reads it and then sends you into the station. Then the, the roundabout yeah. can be further on. Yeah, yeah, we can we can plow through this and make like a nice archway or something. Yeah, that's probably what what we have to do. I think that there's no way of really doing it on the bridge without having to really fumble about with the redstone. I think. But... Yeah, okay, sweet. Well, feel free to jump in whenever you want, and I'll just work around I you. To... Um... <laughs> I need to get the redstone first. That's what the... Uh, that's what, what, oh, what we're no, rush. Oh, do you need, like, actual redstone? Yeah, so that's what we're working on right now, is the... we're going to make a village a trading hall for redstone. Oh, I see. I actually have a little bit of redstone, if that yes. helps. Because I went mining with Spinner earlier. 
I should have enough to work on the station. What the heck? Hi. Wait, How was wait. The trim? Wait. What the? <laughs> what? Why is my face like that? <laughs> your monocle, I think. How is it? How is that your monocle? Did you run out of white terracotta? Or did Carter? Fiesh just run out of blocks? I may have run out of white terracotta. <laughs> oh my god. How did you, you do this? Scab. So... Oh my god. My I, heart is racing I so imagine the fast. amount you sweated in that time that we were gone because that was absolutely terrifying. Wait, oh so is, that, is that why you wanted to get the frog head? Yeah, why don't you think I want a white frog, CC? You absolute. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh my god, that is incredible. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Yes. That was so much more stressful than anything I ever did on I was, one. I was so glad I was not you right then. That sounds, yeah, not this ideal. Is, oh in, this is incredibly impressive to do this in like the time you know we were gone. Worse? I, because I, I, I have the Bobby mod, and like the Bobby mod has like some glitches where like chunks will sort of like not, like they'll show us the wrong okay. chunk occasionally. Yeah. And I was like, mm. oh, is it like what? what how has this happened? But no, this is this is. <laughs> it was real. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god! And I could you are a legendary yapper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm so well like this was very impromptu. So like you were mm. planning this as we were like working on it. I wasn't even supposed to be here. No, you I weren't supposed like, to I... be here. No, no, even joining in on the villager thing, I had no idea. I just wanted to get some social interactions to my video. And so I was like, oh CC's around. Everything's interesting with CC. So I was like, alright, I'll join these guys. And then BH was like, I'm gonna need your help really soon. And whispers. And then he was like, oh, we need to set him on a wild goose chase. And then he DMs me, like, the schematic of it. Somehow it worked that you you somehow were as convinced as I was that it needed to be a white frog head. And bless oh, you, you committed for it. I wasn't convinced. I just committed. I know, but you still <laughs> helped me. And that is just so nice. I just commit to the bit. That's... that's... <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we have a... Oh, we... we have... Geraint the Raisin. <laughs> so Geraint the and Raisin we... died for nothing. <laughs> no, he died for a very good reason. He died for a very good reason. We will always remember this froghead. I'm just really impressed that BH managed to do this in less than 20 minutes. Like, we weren't gone that long. Like, in the time it takes a well, tadpole to grow up is basically how, how fast he did this. And it's, it's really impressive. <laughs> oh, God. This is probably revenge for me pranking him along with M, and then also pretending that I didn't prank him to then prank M back. It's a whole thing. Uh, go check out his video for more context. <laughs> but that is that's gonna have to stay up here for a while, I think. But because BH was doing this, he wasn't actually working on the villager farm, so I have finished it off myself, and I'm quite happy with how it is. It is quite a cute little shack here. Got a little like cabin. And here is Geraint the Raisin. Uh, I'll I'll get I'll get a uh, hula replacement frog. Uh, it's oh god, but yeah. So this is basically all set up now to be a villager breeder with a little zombification area that then goes into a curing area. But before I can really do that, I need to actually you know get some villagers and also get a zombie in here. So how about we start with the villagers, since they're probably going to be the easier ones. I need to get villagers from there over to here. Actually, this might not be the easier option. <laughs> okay, I think rail's going to be the best option. I don't think a boat's going to get me up here very quickly. I think the funniest thing about this prank is that the, the way that he's like made it is that it always looks like it's pointing directly at you. Like, no matter where you stand, it's like he's still looking at you. It's really scary, actually. Okay, let's connect the, the, the rail. Okay, so I need to get two of these villagers here. Preferably uh, the Fletcher and the Fisherman. So let's see if I can get both these guys into 
a boat that I can then put into a minecart. Okay, get in that. Okay, great. And then I'd want the Fletcher. Okay, Fletcher's on his way. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Okay, there we go, perfect. Uh, and then now I can just go underneath with rails. Okay, I can't. If I just then do push a minecart towards this. Yeah, it should put them in a boat in a minecart. And then I can push that onto... Okay, there we go. Okay, it's on the it's on the rail, it's on the rail. No, no, no don't fall off. Oh, for sake. Oh, there's a torch there now as well. Uh, get rid of the torch. Put on the rail. Okay, they're on the rail. There we go. Out they go. Perfect. Let's close that off. And then let's just get a furnace minecart. Oh, they're going. What? I don't even need a furnace minecart. What? <laughs> Ow. Okay. Uh, well, that worked better than I expected. So now let's just uh, get rid of like this. Drop them down. Oop. Sorry. Okay. And then I need to F3B this. Break the boat. There we go. Break the minecart. And here we go. There we go. Perfect. And now all I need to do is just give them some food and they should start making babies. Okay, let's just uh, chuck in some carrots through the window. They can collect those up. So now I need to get over a zombie. You aren't going to do. There we go. Zombie, zombie. Okay, uh, let's uh, see if you are capable of wearing a frog head. You don't seem to be. Ow. Let's see if you are then. It's your buddy. Okay, one of the. <laughs> That's so stupid looking. Okay, let's try and lure him over while the rest of the horde tries to kill me. I think Sprinkles might have been right in going for a cold frog head. <laughs> I mean, a warm frog head. This is, uh. <laughs> Okay, I've not really thought too hard about how I'm going to get him into his little pod. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of walk him in, hopefully. Oh, they can't get over rails is the issue. Okay, okay, okay. He's in, he's in, he's in. Ow! And he can still hit me through the thing, so that's good. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And I don't think he'll despawn because he's wearing that head. He's a, he's a friendly little fellow, isn't he? Okay, let's give you a nice little namey. There we go. And one more thing I want to do quickly is actually go get you a sword. A sword. Also, let's hope you just take this over the flesh. There we go. Perfect. So now he should do a nice... Ow! He... Oh, five hearts! Okay, that should be fine. I don't want to talk about the headache I've had trying to set this up, but I think I've got it all sorted now. I had to change my mind from using a furnace minecart system because uh, they were basically killing each other inside of ow, of here. Uh, so what I've got now is I've set up one of my little stations out here. So basically each time that a villager gets sent through the system, it will get itself put into a bay. Then I can cure them up over here and then send them off on their way to wherever they need to be. So now let's just do a little test, a little testy westy, and we can see what if it works. So let's turn the water on. Okay, they're all in the corner here now. So I'll just do a boop of the button. They should come through one at a time. Get themselves. Oh, he's focused on me. Then there should. Yep, there you go. He's modified, and then send him through, and he should go into the first bay. Yep. And I can do that four more times, so let's just do that again. Okay, there we go. That is now all of these guys in here. So now I just need to grab myself some weakness potions, which I've left back over here. Okay, so now I just need to throw in these potions. I'm hoping I can, like, hit all three of these guys with a single potion. One. Uh, two. Three. Perfect. Ow. And then these two should be fine on their own. Duh. And duh. Okay. Oh, they're starting to purify now. So I've just got a button set here, which should just send them all off one at a time like normal. There we go. And just in case they don't reach the end, I've also got this minecart furnace to push them over. But I think they, they seem like they're fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't need the minecart furnace. Let's just quickly turn on the old F3B, and then we can just whack away the minecart. 
He's become a fisherman. That's... Yeah, okay. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. He is now a cleric. So it's not a massive discount, but at least it is a discount. So I can trade this here, get some emeralds. And now he's all locked in. And I can do the same for this guy. And then here... Ooh, that's already done. You I need to do next, but you're not locking onto any... Oh, why are they all going to this corner? Oh, God. I hate when they do this. I've just noticed they have a creeper on their back. I never noticed that before. Yeah, okay, that seems to have fixed it. I think they were trying to get to bed, but the beds were still over there. Okay, so, speaking of these uh, little machines in here, uh, let's quickly go over what they are. So, basically, I have two of my shulker packers uh, side by side, and each of these are going to be set up for a different purpose. So this one over here is actually going to be my rotten flesh storage. So basically the shulker boxes I collect of rotten flesh from the nether will go into this chest up here. And then I'll just grab out the rotten flesh, like grab some stacks, go trade them all up. And then once this box empties, all I need to do is just do that. And it will place it with a new box and I can just place the empty shulker box into here. And then I can take these back to the gold farm to be reused. And then the one that's going to be on the right is going to be for any spare emeralds I get that I don't really uh, need to keep. I might also set up another one over here for redstone as well, because I probably won't be using, keeping many emeralds over. I think most of these will go back directly into the villagers. But I can go through quite a bit of uh, rotten flesh very quickly and then trade it all back in. And that's like 24 right there. If I go trade to this guy... I get now nice 30, and that's 30 redstone dust pretty quickly from like about half a shulker box. So it's not a massive yield, but it's at least something extra to add to my uh, collection or my supplies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go get some more clerics from over there. But also I need to go and grab all of the boxes from up at the, uh, the, 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 the never place. Yeah. Okay, time to uh, grab a bunch of these boxes and go put it in my storage. God, I always forget how many there are through here. Hello, CT. Oh, okay. I can tell why people don't do this because it is taking forever. And also their prices are slowly going up too, which isn't helping. <laughs> but we're getting a nice supply. I've gotten quite a bit of redstone so far. Like, that's not bad. But let's keep going and we'll see how much we can get in the end. Or at least by the time I get bored, which might be very soon. <laughs> okay, the supply is growing quite quickly, as well as having some extra stuff like enchanting bottles and glow oh, glowstone. But I'm running into a few issues. Uh, issue number one, for some reason, but some of the villagers just refuse to actually become clerics. I don't know why. You're literally standing on a brewing stand. Please just take it. There's definitely enough in here. I think there's like 12 brewing stands to like 10 villagers. These guys just want to be up here for some reason. I don't know. There's no brewing stand up here anymore. And a lot of them also aren't just resetting their trades. This guy has finally. But I'm sure it shouldn't take like 20 minutes to reset their trades. So several things have gone wrong. I hate villagers. <laughs> but I'll see if I... Well, this is a new one. You've, you've actually finally locked onto a trade. There you go. You're now, you're now stuck as a cleric forever. But why are the rest of them not doing it? My only guess is that the uh, beds, like that's that's the only thing I can think of is like they need beds. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to add just a little boarding room with enough beds. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. I don't care. I just need to get this done. I'm sick of it already. <laughs> okay, I put in the beds and they seem to be happy. Oh, wow. They're, they're, they're loving it already. Look at them go. Let's hope that they now decide to actually be villagers. Yes, yes! He did the thing! Oh, beautiful. Okay, I don't know why villagers are the way that they are, but I'm so glad that they are hopefully doing it, and let's see if they stick with it. Let's first lock you into being a cleric. There we go, perfect. Oh, you're new as well. You, you've not done it. Okay, there we go, perfect. You're now locked in as well. So it should just be this guy down here. There's exactly enough brewing stands for all of them, so... This guy has no excuse. Oh, God, there's so much gurgling and stuff around here. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. Hopefully he will claim that. 
He's claimed it. Why have you claimed it? Oh, oh, he claimed it. He, so this guy unclaimed this one and then ended up... This guy took it instead. Okay, whatever. Whatever works. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Villagers, please. Why, why are they so... So now I can get back into doing a bunch of uh, trading, get myself as much redstone as I can possibly fit in my pockets. And to give you a little bit of reference, uh, all this redstone here and these extra little gubbins is all from uh, 12 shulker boxes of rotten flesh. And I've got at least like 100 more boxes of this to go. So yeah, I'm probably going to get a decent chunk of redstone here. <laughs> I might not even turn all of it into redstone. I might save some of the emeralds for other uses. But that is where I'm going to be calling it today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this one took me a while, but it's now all really good. I, am, I, I love this room so much. I'm going to come back to it in the future and clean it up, especially this bit here. Uh, I need to figure out a way of stopping these guys from not escaping. These carpets aren't doing the trick for some reason. And I want to get the back room sorted. But that's a future project. I've got some more pressing stuff I want to do first, including my storage system. I'm going to finally get a good storage system. I'm sick of manually sorting. I'm done with it. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.